Hey guys, it's Recap Sensei here. In today's video, I'm gonna explain a 2012 British American science fiction movie called Prometheus. Before we start, warning, spoilers alert ahead. Make sure to watch until the end. This movie begins as a humanoid alien waits alongside a waterfall on prehistoric Earth while a massive alien UFO departs the planet. It drinks a dark liquid, causing his body to disintegrate. The alien's DNA triggers a biogenic response as it remains cascade into the waterfall. In 2089, Elizabeth Shaw and Charlie Holloway, two archaeologists, are conducting an observation in a cave. They find an ancient star map here and take it as an invitation for humanity's creators, or engineers as they call them. The crew sleeps in status for the entirety of their journey in a large spaceship, while an android robot named David keeps track of their voyage. After two years, the ship suddenly comes to a halt and announces that they've arrived at their destination. The first crew member, mission director Meredith Vickers, has awoken and is approached by David. Meredith orders him to wake up the rest of the team. The crew is then shown a video of Sir Peter Whelan, the CEO of Whelan Corporation, who raised funds to build the advanced research vessel named Prometheus to locate the engineers. The boss introduces the archaeologist, who explained that the identical pictogram can be found in archaeological digs worldwide, showing men worshipping enormous creatures pointing to a star. They discover LV-223, the planet that they have just landed on, which is able to sustain life. The Prometheus lands in a valley near an artificially constructed structure. With only six hours of daylight left, the survey team begins to suit up and proceed inside to explore. They can see the entire structure grid using Mr. Fifield's smart detector drones. They continue their exploration and come to a room with a hole in it. As something generates an atmosphere, the air is breathable. David comes across a green slime that includes several particles and creates an electric sound on the other side. He clicks several buttons on the wall, which activates a hologram of numerous engineers in spacesuits fleeing from something. The survey team then chases the hologram and discovers one of the engineers fallen in front of a door. The body is still there. According to the carbon reader, the body has been there for almost 2,000 years. David tries to unlock the door. They find a room filled with well-arranged cylindrical vases, filled with black liquid and artwork all over the walls. The survey crew begins to fall back as soon as the control unit detects incoming silica storms. They also bring the head of the dead engineer, as well as one of the bases. After removing the helmet from the deceased engineer's head, the team manages to shock the head back to life. Unfortunately, it explodes into pieces. Shaw takes a DNA sample and analyzes it. He determines that the engineer's DNA is identical to that of humans. When David looks into the stolen cylinder, he discovers a black liquid. He steals a drop of the liquid and uses it to purposefully infect Holloway by offering him a glass of champagne. He engages in sexual intercourse with Shaw, unaware of what is happening inside his body. Philfield and Milburn, who were left behind, continue their cave explorations. They come to a pile of engineer bodies. Suddenly, the control unit informs them that a detector drone has detected a life form from the west. However, it vanishes, claiming that it was only a glitch. They decide to proceed to the east, where they'll reach the previously visited room. They notice something slithering through the black liquid. All of a sudden, a snake-like creature appears. Milburn is attacked by the violent creature. Fifield tries his hardest to help his friend, but he breaks his arms and Milburn is killed. Milburn's helmet is also sprayed with a corrosive liquid, destroying it and burning his face. The next day, the crew returns to the structures. David suddenly stops and turns in a different direction. He comes up a room with a surviving engineer held in stasis. He tries to press the buttons, which causes a chair to swivel out and display the engineer's hologram. When an engineer is seen playing the flute, a massive space map appears, marking Earth as the ship's next destination. On the other hand, the crew finds Milburn's corpses. As a result of swallowing the black liquid, Holloway's condition worsens. They rush back to Prometheus. Waiting for them at the ship, Vickers blocks Holloway from boarding the ship. She eventually burns him to death with flamethrowers. Shaw is examined on the ship by David, who finds out she is three months pregnant. That's strange because they only had intercourse just ten hours ago. She insists on getting it out right away since she senses something is wrong with it. On the other hand, David advises placing her in cryostasis until they return to Earth. Shaw fights back and manages to flee. She conducts self-surgery with the med pod. To her shock, an octopus-like alien is taken out of her belly. 
Shaw manages to break out from the pod and captures the strange thing there. The control unit detects that Fifth Field's monitor has just popped up. The control unit also indicates that Fifth Field is standing outside the ship. He gains a lot of strength from the monster face and attacks the ship's crew. They succeed in killing him by using flamethrowers to burn him. Shaw discovers that Waylon is still alive on the ship all this while. He explains that meeting the makers or engineers could help him somehow avoid death. Shaw insists that they leave because the engineers are not who they think they are. They kill people. He refuses because they are so close to meeting them. This is their only opportunity. While getting ready, Shaw meets with the captain of the Prometheus, Janik. Janik speculates that this planet is not their original home. The structure is part of an engineer military base that lost control of its biological weapon, which is the black mutagenic liquid. Vickers cautions the CEO that if he enters the structure, he will die. It also reveals that the elderly gentleman is her father. They return to the part of the structure that had been visited by David before. They discover thousands of the cylindrical vases from the live stream of Shaw's camera. They find out that the room is actually a spaceship. David reveals that the engineers were on their way to Earth to destroy humanity. In order to create, one must sometimes first destroy. They attempt to awaken the surviving engineer. David speaks to him as he wakes up, explaining what Wayland wants. Unfortunately, the engineer retaliates by decapitating David, murdering Wayland and the rest of the team. Shaw manages to run away. The engineer touches a ball of green light, which activates the spaceship and brings out a weapon-like chair. The ship begins to take off as he sets the course back to Earth to resume his mission to destroy humanity. Shaw urges Janik to stop the alien spaceship from flying any further. The captain crashes the Prometheus into the alien spaceship, killing himself and the rest of his crew. Vickers is the only survivor who manages to escape by ejecting in an escape pod. When the ships collide, it begins to roll in a perfectly straight path, killing Vickers as she tries to outrun it. Barely surviving, Shaw makes it to Prometheus. He discovers that the previously removed alien offspring has grown to a gigantic size. Fortunately, it's still trapped in the medical bay. David is surprisingly still alive and informs her that the engineer has survived the crash and is on his way to get her. The engineer breaks open the ship's airlock and attacks Shaw. She manages to open the medical bay door, releasing the alien offspring on the engineer. After a struggle, the engineer is subdued by the giant creature. The creature thrusts an ovipositor down the engineer's neck, killing him. David begs Shaw for help, saying that there is yet another ship that he could fly. As David is desperate for an answer and has no other options, Shaw recovers David's head and body from the engineer's damaged spacecraft. Instead of returning to Earth, they travel to the engineer's homeworld to learn why they created humanity, but solely with the intention of destroying it afterwards. The black liquid was first created by the engineers as a biological weapon with the goal of wiping out the whole planet, particularly Earth. It's actually a mutagenic pathogen made up of billions of microscopic germs that causes death. They were stored in the cylindrical vase because they were unstable at room temperature. As seen in the movie, the dark liquid begins to react when the team enters the chamber and disrupts the atmosphere. The creatures also infect the hosts, causing them to mutate and transform into aggressive and powerful creatures. That's all for this video. Subscribe to watch more videos like this and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.